behind him towards Brian Marks, and Marks has to retrieve it all the way out of the neutral zone. Here comes Marks, dumps past the goal line, tries to shake off one dasher, and the second dasher behind him, Andrew Harrison, picks up the loose puck. Meanwhile, Dayton has it again. Hicks, now to Mafu's far side. Brian Marks controls it at the Harrow logo nearhand side. Mafu's behind the goal line now at the far corner. Mafu Skinner, Skinner oh. shot and goal! Skinner! Dustin Skinner with the first goal for the Dayton Demons in 2014-2015. Power play goal for the Demons, 1-0 Dayton. And for the fans, that's a free Boston's Bistro power play pretzel. 1-0 Demons, 16-41 left to go in the first. A great setup as Skinner was in the far faceoff circle. Fires it past the right shoulders of Matt Anthony. And the home team has taken a 1-0 lead. I think my to find the stick of Andrew Harrison, he is tangled up. And the loose puck picks up by Danville. Levesque, far side, and it will bounce into the neutral zone. Here comes Mafus. It's a one-on-two of three and four dashers. Mafu scores! Mafus from the near hand side goes through the five hole of Matt Anthony and Dayton reclaims the lead for the second time this season. Two to one, Demons. That, that went right in the five hole between the legs of Anthony and I tell you what, the crowd love it. For Ahmed Mafus, that is goal number 101 as a Dayton Demon and 138 as a member of a team. And taking him out of the equation was Dustin Henning. Pelche between the points, shot and score! Stopper. Len Pelche fires it home and the Demons now lead three to one. Len Pelche with two goals, one of them a game winner against Danbury on the road last year. He will fire between the points, redirects it past Matt Anthony, and the Demons have their largest lead so far this season, three to one. Demons left 12-14, left to go in the second. This will bounce around the corners. Mafus can't control it on the check into the boards. Now picked up by Len Pelche. Rush, he'll be sideswiped by John Scully, Scully went we down. Go. And we might have some ruffling <laughs> as Rush and Skinner are taking on Ozelens. And Ozelens lost his helmet. He's going for a noggin of a demon, namely Skinner. And Ozelens says, enough of you. I will fight you on as the linesmen do everything they can to wrestle these men away from each other. And right now, Skinner has Ozelens in a tangle and uh, Skinner slammed down the ice. Now Skinner rotates it and he is on top of Eggers Ozelens. And right now the two linesmen pry the two apart finally. And Dustin Skinner skates his way towards the box. I, I don't know if this thing's over with or not. They, they may get a, a, here we go down right in the now, corner. And the near corner, Zachary Zamora slams a demon in the near corner. That could be not sure actually I saw a zero on there but I think this is something that the fans have all stood up for as they watch the carnage on the ice Zamora slow to get up and Ahmed Mafuz was the one he was dueling with and we'll have a delay penalty on the Danville Dashers and we will see Here we go. Blair shove two dashers away. Jonathan Giuliano has his throat grabbed by Blair. We have a dasher and a demon not getting along around the near corner. And right now, I cannot tell because the two gentlemen fighting are right in front of section 22. Right now, Giuliano and Blair, they're still talking about it. Could also be Joe Pace in the middle of that too. Both of those gentlemen spent time with the Demons at some point last year. Giuliano did not get a chance to play for the Cup. He was traded to Watertown for Dustin Skinner. 16. 
And Nafuf. Nikola Lavesk will head towards the sin bin. 642 yeah, remains in the third. Three to two demons. That was Brett Wall. Out tangle for the puck. Now the near point. Waheeb Dodge stops. Six seconds left. And Van Weinsberg. Kravchuk just a hair wide. It bounces off Anthony's pads. And the Dashers have killed a five on three and a five on four in consecutive order. 235 remains. Oh. And a goal! Robert Van Weinsberg. He might have had the final touch on the bouncing puck past Matt Anthony. And the Demons reclaim a two goal advantage, four to two, with 2.35 left in the third. Just as the Demons at a five on four expire, Van Weinsberg gets it on the far hand side and it bounces past Matt Anthony. Definitely a tough break for Matt Anthony, the Danville goalie. But Dayton is back on top by two. Four to two Demons, 2.35 left in the third. That fourth goal, and he looks to get to Mafus in the slot. He is denied once. Mafus sweeps it. Skinner just can't pull it in. He will pick it up far corner, and he'll take a bounce from Joe Pace. And Skinner is down on the ice. Pace now tangled up with a Demon. We're going to have a power play for the Demons possibly to close out tonight's contest. And Joe Pace will be heading to the sin bin on that check in the back of Dustin Skinner. I think uh, I, I think he's gonna be sent uh, down to the, uh, back to the, uh, the Skinner's up and uh, heading skating. to the score, uh, heading to the locker room now. He gets a slap on the butt from Jared Hicks and Skinner will be heading back with the trainers, we hope he is A-OK. -okay. Definitely a big part of this team. Actually, the team is the big part of the team. And Joe Pace will get a mountain full of booze at him. He helped win Dayton the Cup with superb defense. But tonight, he just gave Dayton another power play with a minute 59 left in the third. And Dayton leads 4-2. to two. 